Hello, and welcome to episode 3 of our Sonic playthrough. And today's a little bit of a weird one, because I don't have a green screen anymore. Um, currently moving out of my current flat, and the green screen I was using belongs to my flatmate. So, for the time being, I don't have a green screen. So it's just going to be the sort of audio and game visual format just for just for a brief while I guess uh, I'll end up getting my own green screen eventually because I do like having my mug on the screen oh it's still not good maybe we have to go this way this is the zone I remember least and I do, do really like it um, I've always thought the music was really peaceful and lovely and no, when, when I was a child and I got to this zone, I kind of thought that we'd made it to sort of human civilization, even though there's like magma guns firing at me right now. Uh, it just feels like you've reached the city. I don't know. It's not quite like... Uh, oh. It's not quite like the... Spring Yard Zone. It kind of feels complete. Look at the background. See, like, there's buildings and windows and stuff that I don't think... The scrap... Not the scrap brain zone. God, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Peace. Spring Yard Zone would have had... Ooh, these robots confused the hell out of me when I was a child. It's like, why can't I jump on them? The mechanic's completely different. That fan's very annoying. Can we not? No? Okay. Do, 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 do. <coughs> oh, 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 wow. Oh, we made it. Oh, no, we didn't have 50 rings. Oh, well. Well, <laughs> that fate was sealed long ago, eh? Now, I don't know whether it's just me, but I feel like the Starlight Zone isn't quite as hard as the Labroom Zone. Oh, no. Let's not trust that spring, shall we? I remember there's lots of death pits in this zone. You know, traffic cones, street lights. It's, it's just... Even that weird 3D starry background, like... How have they achieved that? Why is it, like, parallax with loads of layers? Ooh! Not something I really noticed as a kid, but now playing it back and knowing a few like animation techniques, I'm kind of impressed more. Ooh, don't want to be crushed. Wrinkling. <coughs> I always found the greens as well, like. Is this like Robotnik City? Is it like a mechanical one? It, it is. Like. But if I'm trying to like put together some kind of story here. Is that is that what is that what the concept is? Like this is supposed to be Robotnik's hometown. There's probably some super hardcore Sonic fans that are like, no, actually it's this, 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 and this. How do you not know that? You know, we, we've got no instruction manual, we're just rolling with what the game's providing with us here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's give it another shot. I mean, we're not going to get them all, but it'd be nice to see how many we can get. How frustrating would it be if I got the, the next three? Because that means it'll be all... No, well... <laughs> that was quick. <coughs> Those bonus stages are more frustrating than the actual levels. Because you don't know what's coming until you, like... Arrive on those red dot things. Goals, whatever you want to call them. Oh, gotta go fast. <laughs> I really like these. Ooh, ooh. Seesaws. <clears throat> Where am I going? I'm just 
just gonna eat it. Sod it. Oh, that's taking us back this way anyway. Oh, spikes! Oh, <laughs> such a simple mechanic, but <laughs> you're on, on the wrong side. Right, okay, I think I remember. I think you've got to let the thing go higher because it builds momentum. Yeah! Also, also, like, awesome physics. This game's probably got better physics than most modern day Sonic games, which is a shame. Sonic Adventure 1 had awful physics and cameras. I don't know why those blow up. Um, although it had its own charm, Sonic Adventure 1. Oh, wow, that was so lucky. I don't know how I didn't take damage then. I don't remember this, but maybe this is a new path I've taken. Ooh, here we go. Wonderbar. Well, we're going to try and get to that high a bit. I think we should. Gotta love those loops. Oh, and we're on the boss already. Right, well, <laughs> this was my strategy as a child, so, so it was just, just yeet. Knowing how they blow up the moment they hit the floor it just makes it a much more awkward fight. the trick. As soon as you dropped it, jumped down. The timing thing. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not doing great though. Oh, I've got 80 rings. Let's not be too hard on ourselves here. Oh. That's annoying. That's also annoying. <laughs> Beer all bloody day. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There's another strategy. Okay. actually use the spikes to propel you up. Yeah, beautiful. And we're still on no deaths. <laughs> now I don't want to speak too soon because the next zone is the scrap brain zone and it is full of nightmarish little traps. Been quite a little pleasant playthrough though. Now that's a tune. Oh, oh I see what I mean. <laughs> I've played it so many times and I still never learn. This room used to always give me anxiety. Like, oh, they have you cut it so close. In the original, you can't use the dash. You know what? I won't use the dash just to illustrate how how close this is. Oh, see, miss time that just by a split second, and you're instantly dead, which is terrifying. I don't know what they're supposed to be like crushes. So. <laughs> this is a patience game, I guess. I want to keep those rings. Not the zone to lose rings on. <clears throat> oh, come on, are you for, for real? For serious? Oh, is this the way the zone was meant to be played? I'm sure I've just, like, impatiently ran through it before, but not this time. Turning around? No, nope, you're going through the wall. Right, okay, well, I'm going to take... Great satisfaction killing you, mate. Oh, for God's sake, are you joking? The door pushed me. <sighs> Patience didn't pay off. <clears throat> well, that's nice to have. 
Ooh, checkpoint. Oh, 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 These give me anxiety as well. Oh, no! Oh, God, I thought I was instantly dead then. God damn, scrap brain zone. Should have carried on jumping until it appeared. It's going to disappear now, isn't it? Oh, fast, fast, fast! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Great final zone. Like, I can't emphasise how much I love this zone. And again, I'd love to see it remastered. These colours, this—it's like you're inside a machine. I think I don't know if that—that's the intention. Ooh. Okay, back to the anxiety flippers. break the moment you jump on them. Yep. Anxiety remembers. <laughs> I always found those little cute pig robots. Well, I've already told you. I found them cute. <laughs> oh, what a fool. I don't want to speak too soon. Much better at this zone than I remember being. Wow, that's that's. Hmm, I'm pretty sure this second zone isn't as anxiety-inducing, where the third one has an underwater bit, or I think it's all underwater, and it's kind of like a part four to the labyrinth labyrinth zone more than. Oh, okay, more than a part three to this. Uh, jump. Oh, okay. No, oh, no, 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 rings. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. There's a certain speed that you drop off at. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Right, come on, let's get this down. Ah, oh, there we go. Nope, just the wrong angle. But was lucky on the lightning at least. Timing's rubbish, Sean. <clears throat> right, back to the start. <laughs> oh, fire. Right, okay. All that for that little bit of progress. Are you kidding me? Well, <laughs> taking it slowly paid off there? No, it did not. It's like I've got bipolar disorder. <laughs> the Metropolis Zone on Sonic 2 always gives me anxiety because there's so many enemies that I've still not figured out how to dodge their attacks and stuff. Oh, speaking of dodging attacks. Lordy. Um, <clears throat> for example, I don't know whether you'll know what I'm talking about, unless you're a Sonic fan, but there's these like crabs with giant claws and spikes on the end of them in the Metropolis Zone, and I've never figured out where you're supposed to jump on them. I can, I've killed one before, but I don't know how, because every time I see to jump on its head, it seems to damage me. Oh, I summoned that. I remember seeing those whirling blades on the covers and being like, I'm going to get there one day. And I did. Oh, no. Don't get... Oh, wow. I am having some immense luck. These pits are not where you want to get trapped. <clears throat> a few clumsy mistakes. That's all it takes. One, one. Oh. I'm sure I missed times like then. Whoa. Everything wants to kill you. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, this is probably not great audio, but <laughs> believe me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, right, we're there. Right, can we roll under? Yeah. Big crushy boys, we don't like them. Oh. Oh. Oh, for God's sake. That ring was just about to land somewhere very annoying. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. We want rings. We want rings. <laughs> the naming of the zones in this Sonic especially have always intrigued me. Like, Scrap Brain? Is that like, this zone is... All the sort of well, scraps and junk from uh, Robotnik's experiments, or is it just referencing that he created all his machines from scraps? Oh, which is quite an impressive feat. Oh my god, I've got no rings again on the bloody scrap brain zone. Come on, give us, give us some. On ringage here. Oh no. Oh, ringage. Oh, 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 oh. See, it's the one zone that you can rush through, and I kind of admire it for that, but. Oh, wow. <coughs> It's kind of nice to take your time on a Sonic game, um, rather than just watch him go around loops. Because I just, you know, you can't just watch him do that all the time, it just becomes tiresome. <clears throat> if anything, the, the last zones on pretty much all the Sonic games are my favourite, because the, the challenge is upped. Oh my god. So you see what I mean? It's definitely a part four to the labyrinth zone and we need rings right now. Oh. I love how the water is a different colour as well, like it implies it's some kind of chemical or something. Oh. I don't know if I've ever done this path before. We need to think about some bubbles real soon, though. <gasps> bubbles real soon! Bubbles real soon! <laughs> Please! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, my heart. We take our time on this zone. Never forget, bubbles in this zone are the only reason you survive. There's some real awkward segments. I kind of like that. Well, I, I I love this zone. It's brilliant. It it brings everything together in one place. It, it you're learning all the mechanics over again. The switches, the underwater, the kinds of enemies, and uh, <clears throat> kind of if you want to think about. The way the game plays, you fight Eggman in the Labyrinth Zone and he gets away. And this is like your chance of redemption? No! <gasps> How did that not crush me? I'm so lucky. That, that should have crushed me. I need ringage. Need ringage, big time ringage. Oh, and I need a oh ringage. <laughs> I played it so many times. <clears throat> look at it, look at it. Ring, we need ring. Whew. 
Oh, since when were you there? <laughs> since the 1990s. <laughs> See, I was criticising the order of the levels earlier. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. Bubbly boy. I believe in you. Bubbly boy! Please! No, it was just the... <laughs> oh, hell no! <laughs> that was nearly a no-death run. <laughs> but the bubble was right there. Oh, that's so frustrating. <clears throat> this is literally the last zone before the final boss. <clears throat> but, come on, to be fair, I've done really well. There's been no continues, I've not needed them. <sighs> God damn it. You'll be fast. This is the bit where I consistently died as a child because these bubbles are off the timing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We've been here ages. Oh, my heart. Right, come on, let's go again. The only thing that would make these zones harder is if the bubbles disappeared after one use, because you'd constantly be having, having to move then. As if the oxygen was there. Oh! Right? Uh, look at how close. Look how close I was to a no-death run. Saying that, I've got to beat the last boss. Without dying! I like the tension in the music in this boss. I think I saw my dad get to this as a child, and that that was the point where I was like, right, I want to sort of surpass him. I want to beat it. Oh, oh. <clears throat> and this laser sort of subconsciously, consciously went into a lot of my art as a kid. Um, <laughs> I was big on drawing like mechs and monsters and stuff, and that laser ended up featured in some way or another. Oh. Curious to see what this what this actual machine is supposed to be, considering it's got like human-ish shapes in it. Is it implying that this is the sort of badnik creator machine, or is it just? Like a human torture device where they where he'd have other humans in it. But then how would that make sense? Because why would he be in it? Hmm. So it's a bit to think about. If you have any ideas about that, yes! If you have any ideas about that, it'd be really nice to hear what you've got to say. <coughs> You're not getting away this time, boy! Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And there we have it, Sonic 1. Uh, an absolute childhood gem. Here's something. The sunflowers have a purple centre in this where they didn't when you were actually playing. Was that like a thing to show a brighter day because look it's like a greyish colour there but then when we were just looking it was purple I don't know maybe it's just like a subconscious way of saying like look you did it everything's brighter and better again but the sunflower is the only thing that seemed to change um I think there's a different end screen if you get all the emeralds if I remember I think like some confetti comes down and it shows Sonic with all the emeralds <coughs> Least favourite zone in, in the game. Spring Yard. Although, I wouldn't like to see it gone, you know? These other, these other zones that I'd get rid of first. <clears throat> I 
I don't think there's any need for Emerald Hill Zone, for example, in Sonic 2. It's just Green Hill 2. It's the, it's the same thing, but with monkeys that throw explosive coconuts. <clears throat> I could have skipped that. I, I could have started Sonic 2 at the chemical plant zone and been very happy that it started there. Although I do like how long Sonic 2 is. It's much longer than this. In terms of zones, anyway. They kind of changed the formula in Sonic 2 as well. It's only like a zone and then a boss, a zone and then a boss. So, hmm. Whereas this has three zones, three levels per zone. So how many? There's 18 levels in this. Not bad, really. But even when you look at that, right? The sort of... Oh, oh that's so frustrating. And I know that I can get them because I've done it before. But, hey, that's our playthrough this time. I may come back one day. I may just leave. This is the one playthrough I ever did on YouTube. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it on Eggman juggling because uh, <laughs> that's the end. And hey, look, I've had a series where I've completed a game and not completely failed. Um, I did want to do a no death run, but that bloody area in Scrap, Gr S Scrap Grain, Scrap Brain Three, got me, and it always gets me, but. It's better than it was in my childhood, because in my childhood, that was where I'd die over and over again, and I'd think, how fast do you have to get through this water? <clears throat> but now I've sort of noticed, I've spotted, if you just jump up past the sort of rolling chainy spike, the water ends pretty soon after. So if you get through that pit, that 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 section uh, fairly quickly, you probably don't even need to use those bubbles at the end. Mm. But there we have it. Uh, a pretty pretty good run. Uh, it's nothing compared to the world record. I watched the world record the other day. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty mind blowing. Uh, I think the guy completes it in like nine minutes, where it's taken me. Three episodes and probably over an hour. Well over an hour. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. I don't know what my next series is going to be. Let's see. See you next time.